Ever since the reveal of Professor X in the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness trailer, the internet has been in a huge debate whether or not the former X-Men franchise that of course was made by Fox is in continuity with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I don't understand why some people say no. So I'm not kidding when I say one of the biggest debates is whether or not the X-Men films are going to be part of the MCU continuity, the MCU timeline, the chronological watching order, or whatever you will, like the Spider-Man films. And I honestly don't see why anybody, literally anybody would say no. It doesn't make sense to me. If you have Professor X played by Patrick Stewart, you're automatically calling for that connection. Because if you wanted a new Professor X and you wanted to disconnect it from the old films, you would not have Patrick Stewart. I think I'm kind of explaining this in the simplest way possible, right? I don't see why you would say, eh, no, no, they're not in continuity, they don't matter, they're not part of anything. They're part of the larger multiverse. That's literally what they're doing. You know, this whole thing, this whole debate, the same exact debate was something that people were arguing over in relation to Spider-Man. Remember when Insiders and Scoopers said that, yes, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are returning. Yes, you're going to see Alfred Molina back as Doc Ock, but they're going to be variants. They're not the ones from the film. And then suddenly the film came out and literally all of them were the same exact versions. They were the film versions. And suddenly those Scoopers just deleted those tweets or articles that they had. But again... The evidence is there because other people reported on them. Why exactly would you bend over backwards to make one thing that people are familiar with part of the same continuity that you're working on now, but not the other? And again, Kevin Feige directly worked on the X-Men films, like he did on the Spider-Man films. So it's just another thing that doesn't make sense to me. So are the Fox X-Men films part of the MCU continuity now? Yes. Again... That's the simple fact of the matter. You can argue this till the end of time. The fact of the matter is, they matter now. Now, what films? Well, that's up for debate. Is it just the original three? Is it the ones that include the First Class trilogy? Is it the one that includes the last couple films? I mean, what of it? Deadpool certainly counts. So, again, we have to pick and choose. Or we don't. But the simple fact of the matter is, once you show us Professor X, and once it is Patrick Stewart, the connection is made. The average everyday person will suddenly go, oh, they're bringing those X-Men movies in. They're, they always mattered. And that's the point. That's the selling point, that nostalgia. They're not going to suddenly turn around and tell you that those films never mattered. They clearly have. I think one piece of evidence I can use for this, and again, they never fully said they can't go back to this. They actually teased they might go back to this is Quicksilver in WandaVision. That's still a leftover dangling plot thread that they never fully got back to and they said, well, you never know. There's still things we could do with it. Who says it's not what you thought it was? Again, they left pieces open. Just because one thing tells you definitively, oh, yeah, we're done. We're not doing that doesn't mean that it's true how many times have they straight up lied to people and everybody believes them and then suddenly it's the other thing they're like well of course they did i knew that was the thing like everybody's been doing that i don't get it of course the x-men films are in continuity that's the whole point of the multiverse that's literally the point like that's the point the sole point of it just like flashpoint is bringing michael keaton's batman into continuity and various other things because it all matters now as part of the multiverse. So, yeah, those X-Men films that exist, all of them, they're all part of the MCU continuity. I, I can't make it any simpler than that. There's literally no way to make it simpler than that. Like, you cannot. They're part. I mean, I know some people don't like it. Some people don't want to hear it. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of most of those films. Well, actually, you know, it's like 50-50. But again, I I'm just looking at it at face value. What would be the point? What would be the point of bringing back one and rumored to be multiple actors from those old films and saying, nope, they're not those characters and it's not that film's continuity characters? Of course they are. It, it just boggles my mind how people are bending over backwards to say no to something that's already been proven 
to literally be the other way with Spider-Man. It's like everybody forgets their own narrative and suddenly just shifts focus on whatever is the new hot debate 